If you're watching this video, you might be thinking about adding a Ping G430 driver to the bag, but you don't know what shaft to put in that driver. Well, today we've got Kevin Kraft here. We're gonna hit some shots on TrackMan and tell you about each of the stock shaft offerings for the G430 drivers. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments which of the stock shafts you're playing in your G430. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today we're at Minnetonka in the tour van and we have the stock shafts for the Ping G430 Woods. Indeed we do. Um, and I think, you know, it, sound, it seems kind of, maybe to, to the dedicated golfers, kind of a basic thing to discuss, but I think it's worth noting because um, in a lot of ways, the shaft can be kind of the engine of the golf club. Absolutely. And, um, making sure you have the right one for that vehicle is kind of important. It, it kind of is. Yeah. You wouldn't go into a Ferrari dealer which just ooing and aahing over the <laughs> yeah. vehicles, right? Yeah. You're probably going to look under the hood, yeah. right? If you don't, you might pull off the lot and you know, <laughs> press the pedal to the floor, right? Yeah. And, and it doesn't go. Yeah. And maybe they put my Prius engine in it, <laughs> yeah. right? You wouldn't buy a Ferrari with yeah. a Prius engine in it. So yeah, these are, these are to me, the shaft is the engine of the, of the, of the golf club. Yeah. And uh, great thing about, the, about these the sh stock shafts, like right? you hear the word stock shaft mm -hmm. and most people go, ugh. You know, just, yeah. you know, stock shafts aren't, aren't, aren't cool, yeah. right? They're not sexy, but <laughs> actually a lot of them are. And yeah. each manufacturer now does such a good job of covering, you know, the, the whole spectrum of, yeah. of golfers and what their swings are with really good shafts. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've, they've spent time, they've spent money, they've invested in uh, finding what really does cover that whole, that mm -hmm. whole line for them. So we've got, five really great shafts for ping um, and, and it's just kind of dependent on what the individual uh, right. really really wants and needs right and i think for ping in particular is unique because they have actually like kind of their own shafts within Correct, yes. their matrix that yes. really is kind of unique compared to maybe the other big manufacturers out yeah. there so like the alta and then a couple of their tour ones yep. so um i think what we're going to do today is going to be kind of fun we're going to kind of just go up the line essentially you're going to hit some drives mm -hmm. and then we'll kind of just go from sort of the lightest maybe most flexible uh, shafts for maybe the higher launching tendencies, or if you want the higher launch tendency, yeah. kind of go up into something maybe stiffer um, or heavier at yeah. the top. So yeah. and we'll kind of go through each shaft a little bit and maybe ask, you know, get your feedback on how it feels. I will, sure, you know, absolutely, because uh, that stuff matters as well. But it, it does. Um, we got five shafts here. So yep. Ping Alta CB, the uh, Project X Hazardous Smoke RDX Red, yep. Ping Tour, the Chrome and the Black 2.0, 2.0, the new version thereof, yep. and then that. Uh, Kylie White from Mitsubishi. So uh, and that Kylie is kind of, uh, it's a pretty widespread one, as it is, is the Hazard yes. Smoke Red RDX. Yeah, the so. uh, Smoke Red came out last year. Mm -hmm. And so that one's been been really good. The Kylie seems to be the, the current it shaft yeah. right now, mm -hmm. um, available in most of the manufacturers. So I'm glad to see it here with Ping. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Ready to have some tee shots? I am. May I also say I'm really impressed with your outfit today. Yeah, I it like looks, yours as looks well. Looks very nice. It looks very nice. All the way down to the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin. Uh, shaft number one, Alta CB. Uh, CB stands for counterbalance, which is another kind of unique aspect to this whole, you know, offering from Ping, I guess. So yeah, the idea behind the counterbalance, more weight up under the butt end, uh, mm. helps with trying to make sure that swing weights on the modern heads with all the technology they got going, a lot of the technology adds weight. Mm -hmm. We don't want something that swing weights, you know, make it really feel like a caveman club, right? So putting some weight back here helps make this feel not so sure. heavy. Sure. Makes sense. And also kind of, I think, you know, physically, like you have a little bit more weight here helps you maybe gain some more speed too coming down. It is possible. You know. It is, it is proven that way on, uh, on occasion. Yeah, on occasion. Yeah, on occasion. Okay. Um, Nothing in golf is universal. You know that. Yeah, I suppose. Just, Especially when someone like me is swinging, you know. You can't he, trust everything. You just swing fast. Well, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't With mean great anything. great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. true. <laughs> um, so we, do we think this is kind of the highest launching, maybe highest spinning this, of this the is, shaft? Yep, this, yeah. uh, this is the, other than the quick, which is designed right. for slower swing speeds, yep. even lighter weight yep. than this. And that kind this of HL five grams, yep. Uh, they got a 35 and a 45 in that mm -hmm. one. So uh, we're not gonna do the quick here. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, yeah, this will be the highest launching okay. of, the, of the group right. for us, for sure. Well, let's see what, what Trackman does. All right, I've got nine degree heads, and I got the weight in the, in the heel, because Daddy needs some help. Yeah, turn it around. <laughs> All right. It's a pretty decent start. Oh, blocky. See, we have, uh, compared to the driving range that the viewers are used to seeing, this is a little bit of a smaller target. It is. I like it a lot better, Yeah, actually. Big fan of this one. Just frames up everything better for everybody. Got all the shots. Yeah, that didn't Last start right. Last one's right. This one's a little left. Okay. Okay. Do you think that is potentially part of the shaft? Like, I mean, it's and it's a little bit maybe more flexible or lighter than you. It play. doesn't. With this one, I don't feel quite the load and unload that I'm used to. Okay. Um, probably yeah. user error more than anything. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I, mean it's, I know you play. I, I want to blame the equipment on everything. Yeah. You know, as much as possible, but. Uh, likelihood is that, you know, we're, we're seeing, we'll see what plays out with the shafts yeah, sure. as we go, but most mm -hmm. things we can probably blame me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. pretty decent. Yeah. So pretty pleased with that overall. Yeah. So we got four shots. Yeah. And then your spin right, right at 2,500 on average. Okay. Um, so we saw a variety of kind of launch and, and landing angles there. I yeah. think just really the one that you, you tugged is kind of the one that's dipping though. I yeah. mean, really you're at around exactly. 14 degrees with, sure. um, with the average there. So, um, I mean, anything else jump out at you with these numbers here? No, I'm a little surprised that the smash factor is a little on the low side. Yeah. Um, just cause a couple of those felt pretty good to mm -hmm. me. Okay. Um, and, what the smash factor can indicate to me is it can tell me it can tell me a number of things. It can tell me how efficient the ball's been struck, but it can also give me as we go through this a sense of how a head shaft combination works together. Yeah. Right. So it's amazing, you know, in doing irons or, or driver for that matter, how much difference you can see in smash factor with one head shaft sure. combination with the way it works yeah. for an individual. Like maybe one is maybe more stable for players, but sure. maybe not quite as efficient on the, yeah. the energy and impact. Yeah. I would say with this one, it felt a little more loose than, okay. than what I would typically Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to the next one, the hazardous okay. smoke RDX red here. So I do like the RDX red. I have it in, or I had it in my Stealth Plus uh, fairway wood last year. Okay. I have not worked on it with a driver. So okay. this will be a, uh, yeah, an interesting new. And so, and, and these shafts, some of them, I mean, they're, they're all in stiff for this test. Yes. But there are, you yep. know, like we could get a couple of these, like probably the slate and the hazardous, um, kind of in a regular, I guess, 5.5. Yep. Um, and then as you move up, you know, you might not, for example, get the Kylie in a regular flex, you know, so. Yeah, Kylie's probably not the regular flex, not in the, not in the white, the blue, which Ping does not <laughs> offer. Uh, the blue is, it, yeah. The blue's a, a little higher launching mm -hmm. shaft. Um, that one is is available in a in a rig. Um, all the shafts that we're hitting today for me are 60 gram. Mm -hmm. um, just that's my preferred weight, yeah. really. So, um, but yeah, there's the the CV is available from senior all the way up through X. Yeah. So that's that's a good thing. Yeah. Fit for, for fit for anybody. Okay. Another one of those lower kind of launching draws. Yeah. Spin rate dropped a bit. I did notice the smash is already up higher yep. than any of the other yeah. tee shots. That's going to be left. Did, uh, or do you, do you feel any difference compared to the, the yes. CB? Yes. So already, even though this is a little bit of a higher launching shaft in the, in the matrix, it's yeah. not the highest, but, um, this feels a little bit more stable to me. Okay. Uh, we are at 60 gram glass yeah. in this yeah. one, so a little heavier. Okay. Not crazy, but a little bit heavier. Yep. That one should be, yep. Yep. That one looks a little bit better.
OK? Go ahead. All right, quick look. Four shots again. Club speed slowed down a little bit, as you said, yep. maybe potentially a little bit heavier. Yep. Um, actually, on average, the smash did stay the same. Yep. Just lower, lowered that spin a little bit, um, which kind of basically it got to the same distance, just yeah. maybe a little bit differently. Yes. Just a little bit lower launch, shallower landing angle, all those juicy things, right? Yeah, about 19 feet mm -hmm. lower trajectory with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It right. could be that as we go through this, I'll have to take it off the nine degree. I might actually have to go up and up and loft. We get into the as we get into something heavier, the Kylie, or I guess two point oh black, more. which is a real low launcher. Yeah. All right. All Tour right. Chrome two point Yep. We saw on the RDX red that the swing speed was down a little bit. Yeah. And there is a difference between the Altas and the other uh, stock offerings. The other ones are all coming in at 45 inches for us. Okay. Uh, so we test it 45. Right, right. The Alta CB is going to get be at you know, 45 and a half, 45 and three quarters. So, so that should there is a, a bit of a difference more speed. there. So you can you can you can see that there's a, a yep. legit reason why we lost 0.8 yep. miles sure. an hour there. Yep. The longer it is, the faster we can swing it. Of course, oftentimes the longer it is, the more we are across the face. So yeah. Um, you know, if I've got somebody that I'm working with who's consistently in the heel with a standard length shaft, yeah, probably gonna go a little shorter. See yeah. if that doesn't move a little more. Move into the closer center. to the center. Somebody that stands there with an Alta CB or or any full length shaft, no matter what the manufacturer is, and they're one four eight, one four nine, one five zero. Well, guess what? They're really efficient with the driver, and we can go ahead and stick with that right. with that length as long as they're comfortable with it. So, all right, I like this shaft a lot. Um, I, we, we did some videos before with this. I have, I've always liked Ping's tour stuff. Mm -hmm. um, definitely is a... Yeah, I've played it before. I had I had the G30 for the longest time and I played yeah, Ping yeah. Tour. It's been a great shaft. Um, yeah. Glad to see we got a newer, a new version. And then once we get to the end, we'll talk about that black, mm -hmm. which is really great. Oh. I like the ball speed. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I mean, that was the same tee shot, I think. Twice in a row. Pretty close. Pretty close. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go here first. Yeah, okay. That's that's pretty good. I like it. So, and I, I did look like again spin dropped a little bit if I remember. Yeah, it did. Yep. Uh, spin dropped a little bit. Launch. I mean, I guess fractionally lower. Yeah. Landing angle fractionally shallower. It's kind of that trend that we sort of expected as yeah. we move up into something a little bit maybe heavier or stiffer or yep. lower launching. Yep. So this to me through that I felt much more comfortable with the flex of the shaft it yeah. is a little we're getting you know progressively a little right. stiffer right yep yep or at least a little stiffer feeling and so for me this felt really really controllable yeah right. yeah so next now Kylie is that the next one in line here Kylie is the next in line yeah um, I like it we got a new it's a new offering this year mm-hmm and it's a very good feeling shaft. I've spent quite a bit of time with it already because pretty much every manufacturer has this now. Right. And so I imagine between the different brands, it's you're working with that almost daily. Yes. Yeah. There's a few different shafts now. Uh, this one and the the hazardous, the new hazardous Gen Four. Black, oh yeah, the black. Yeah. Uh, that's available for most company, not Ping, and this mm -hmm. one. But uh, so there's there's a couple shafts you're going to see sure. kind of across the board. Ooh. No, interesting. That's an interesting trajectory. I didn't, I didn't really feel that. Do you feel like you swung the fastest there? Um, not that, sure. Oh, oh, there. oh. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay. Apparently I didn't hit very solid at one four three smash factor, but yeah, that's it's an in one. play and it's yeah. Yeah, if far that's a, if that's a miss, that's a fine miss. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that one, I guess. Okay. 
that's a little bit more of kind of what I yeah. was expecting. And yeah. That was a little more solid for sure. Yeah. That one might hang a little bit. Nope. It's turning. It's turning. That weight in the heel. Felt, yeah, that's definitely helpful right there because that <laughs> one definitely felt a little bit toward the toe. I wasn't sure if that yeah. one was just going to hang or not. But, oh, uh, I see. Ultimately, that's uh, quite fine. To a little toe strike, drove that spin down. Yeah. A little sub 2000 there. Yeah. The, uh, the opposite side of the quadrant of death. Yes. Quadrant of life, yes. as you quadrant said. Quadrant of life. <laughs> a little bit of a miss. Not yeah, that. You could have fooled me. Okay. All right. All right. So there's that one. Okay. So we had the really small dispersion there, the Tour Chrome 2.0. Yep. Getting back a little bit wider with this one. Um, numbers actually, the, so the spin, I guess it's more or less the same, right? I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, like, across those last like three, 25, it's 30, similar. whatever yeah. math I'm trying to do it in my head. Yeah. But um, that carry number is staying consistent. Also, the smash is staying consistently. On yeah, I'm really, I'm really amazed that we're not seeing. Like a 148 like or 149. Like, it's not like I've been all over the face, especially no. with the with the Chrome 2.0. I mean, I hit those balls yeah. pretty solid. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think really since the Alta, we were also seeing just generally a lower launch and lower flight. Yeah. yeah which, um, which we should. The peak height's been 90 every time. Yeah. Landing angle's been right around 35. So, yeah. um, we'll see here as we go to the, the black, the Tour Black 2.0. Yes. Let's see how that goes. So if you throw the uh, the dispersion chart up there again, yep. If Oops, I were, no, if we were, if we we're in a fitting, we'd be talking about numbers, of course. But oh, then, of course, the, the famous question of which circle is. Yeah, well, which which, you know. which circle do you like best? <laughs> yeah, I think I have. I see a clear winner. There right are now. there are times where it's just kind of like, duh, you know. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that one's definitely the best of the group. All right. Chrome 2.0 black. Yep. So the black is a new shaft for ping. It's the lowest launching of the matrix and it's going to feel a little more stout, a little boardier mm -hmm. feel, right? For me, I tend to like something that I can really feel load and unload. That tour Chrome just feels pretty right to me. Yeah. Um, this may make me feel like I have to swing a little harder. Yeah. Which is typically what happens like with Ventus blue versus Ventus black. Oh right? yeah. The black just feels like a lot of work to me. <laughs> the blue feels easy. So same kind of comparison sure. there. But it looks great. Like, yeah, it you, does. You pair this shaft with this head and it yeah. just looks, it's, it's very Darth Vader-y. It know? is. Yeah. I was trying to find the right term for it. Yeah, that kind of that kind of does yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, appealing to all the Star Wars fans yeah. out there. Yeah. Ooh. I want three hundred. <laughs> I want three hundred. My numbers are good. The ball speed's just not there. And I want three hundred, but I don't want to go left. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is kind of what happens to me sometimes when I get into the board of your shafts. Yeah. I feel like I really have to work hard. And that is the shot that I do not want to see ever on the golf course. Yeah. I'll block it right all day long. Yeah. I don't like to see that. Yeah. That one did not do that. That one did not. That do one that. is better. A little hanger. Okay. Probably a bit of a reaction to the previous one. I like this shaft, but I do feel like I have to work pretty hard yeah. to, to, to make it work. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's something worth noting, right? Cause I think now correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the, the shaft that you play and you're kind of fit into is probably a little bit less stout than that one. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So like, it's yeah. probably, a, it, it works to what your swing needs right like yeah. maybe at the beginning not quite it, it, the trend with the dispersion circles is probably perfect for, absolutely for yeah. the way this yeah. worked out because the closest to what i'm playing right now is that is going to be that chrome yeah yeah okay so then because it, it's the circle clearly started out a little bit larger yep. and then as it got closer to something that fits your profile obviously that really narrow 
oval up there with the blue pink yeah. tour yep. chrome 2.0 yep. and then as we kind of got back towards something more stable um obviously the, this green one is this last one here yeah so um i think i mean that kind of works again it's so it's kind of then up to the to the if the the viewers aren't going to come get fit right you know and they want to just go in maybe speak with someone with our live chat online yeah. they have a good idea now after watching this kind of, of at least the sure. stock offerings sure. for ping and and maybe if they which know what they in. if they know what they like from a feel standpoint right, right. um that's that's the other piece because we as we went the, it it plays more stout right so mm -hmm. somebody that likes a boardy feel uh my friend david who i work with every day in, in columbia he likes he likes shafts that i say have no feel because they're just like Ugh, yeah right and so if i like it he hates it if I, he's got he likes it i don't like it at yeah. all so yeah so it's one of those things where you know if you know what you're where you're comfortable with in terms of weight and and the way the, the shaft plays yeah you know the cb is going to play kind of play the weakest, play the lightest. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to feel a little bit more head weight there, even though it is a CB shaft. And then, you know, you get into this guy and this guy's is, is, is beefy. Yeah. It's definitely beefy. Right. If you're, a if you're a fast swinger, right, and you want the most control you can get, this is probably the right way to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. As I think, as we had Rocco in here, he was describing, though he, he's a very, you know, plays the stiffest, heaviest shafts you yeah. can find. And yeah. he was describing his shafts as you could do pull-ups on them. There you um, go. There, there yeah, you that's go. one way. Yep. Maybe that's the the ping tour. Yeah. Uh, black 2.0. Yeah. So there's the numbers. I don't know if there's anything else to really kind of dive into there, but it's basically you know we clearly saw things trend they the way they should be, and obviously the most consistency you had there was with the tour Chrome 2.0. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's much else to add. I mean, that was. I think no, that's they, the, the they, test shows exactly what it's supposed to. Yeah, that, they pretty much did what they were supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. We, we talk about that with clubs. When clubs <laughs> do what they're supposed yeah. to do. The golf shaft does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So um, I think that the, other, the last thing to say, golfers can come get fit at second swing. And uh, if you're interested in a Ping G430 driver, and maybe now you have an idea of the, the stock shafts out there, maybe which one might fit you, but of course to actually get dialed in, maybe know the hosel settings, where to move the weight on the club head, which club head that you need exactly. That's where you come in and get fit. Someone like Kevin will dial that in for you. And remember, if, if, if these shafts are not working for you, we have a incredible array of mm -hmm. the aftermarket shafts as well. You know, the manufacturers work to make sure that they've got something for everybody, but hey, if we need to go into something, correct, you know, something different, you need a Ventus or you want a, you want a graphite design shaft or, yeah. you know, any of the others that we have, um, you know, we're happy to do that too. Yeah, we were just yeah. looking at the, the yes, shaft walls absolutely. here. I mean, there's yeah, hundreds of options. Yep. So. Uh, come in and get fit. Make sure you're uh, playing clubs that are right for your game and ultimately you're going to play better. So Kevin, thanks for joining and Absolutely. demonstrating today. You bet.